Viewer discretion advised. Hello everybody, Onyx Eye here. Welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR. Today we are going to be patrolling down in the Polito Bay area of Blaine County. And today I'm using a, uh, using a pretty neat vehicle here. We've got the, um, it's the 2016 Ford Police Interceptor Utility Vehicle that was released by the Herc. And uh, for the skin on it, I have the uh, Riverside County, uh, California, I believe it is, based um, skin that was put out by uh, Baron, B-E-R-E-N. I'll be sure and post a link to both of those in the description of this video, so be sure to check that out down there. So we'll uh, we'll go ahead and get loaded up today. We'll go 10-8, and I'll see you guys when we get our first call. Four citizens report a homicide in the Riverside County Bay units respond code two. One Lincoln four in route. All right, so we're being dispatched to a possible murder. Looks like it's going to be out here near the uh, Cluck and Bell Farms area. We'll go ahead and respond code 2 high out here and see what uh, what kind of situation we got. Oh, this dude right here just uh, just ran over somebody here. We're going to go ahead and perform a traffic stop on him. It's possible that this is going to be our murder suspect. Right. I love it when they uh, right check you there. Go ahead and pull him over here. Target license plate zero nine Union Charles Zebra five seven five. Proceed with caution. Like this woman may be running over here to uh, yank him out and hit her for. All right, that's enough, that's enough. Stop, stop, stop. Both of you, stop. Stop. He's running off. Stop. Right now, Sheriff's Department. I know you heard me. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. On the ground. Right now. Do not move. One Lincoln Four, one in custody. Ten four, copy that. All right, so he hit who I believe may be our witness in this murder case. I'm going to go ahead and do a uh, do a quick pat down on him. We're going to go ahead and get him transported. It's a hit and run we witnessed. Okay, we found a kid's toy on him. All right, well, that's uh, fairly interesting. One Lincoln Four requesting prisoner transport. We've got assistance needed on um, Great Ocean Highway. We're going to go ahead and let uh, transport take him. Frank Mudbridge was his name. Just gonna pick that up because um, he's already been picked up. All right, let's see if we can get across this road here without getting ran over. We already picked up his vehicle as well, so we're not able to search yet. Go ahead and get over here to this. Uh, murder scene I believe it despawned when the uh, witness ran off what it looked like yeah 
All right, so unfortunately that all, that all got cleaned up by the game, so we'll, uh, we'll call that that. One Lincoln 4, I am code 4. Acknowledged. One Lincoln 4, I'm responding to shots. I know I heard gunfire over here. Oh, there he is. Sheriff's Department, stop. Stop, Sheriff's Department. Hit up this like this guy is armed. Sheriff's Department, stop. Dude. On the ground. Like I got hit once. The vest, thank goodness. Actually, in my arm there. One Lincoln four, one in custody. Ten twenty seven on Greg Dalton. Come on this way, man. Alright, so we're waiting on Mr. Dalton to get over here. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, get him back out closer to the road. We, uh, we responded over here because we heard shots being fired. And uh, when we get here, this guy's running with a gun in his hand. I identified myself as the Sheriff's Department. Um, asked him to stop. He kept running. Uh, when I drew my weapon, uh, he turned around, fired off a shot. Uh, at which time I fired off a shot or two, and uh, he went ahead and complied at that point. So we've got him in custody right now for uh, felony assault on a police officer with a w weapon. So uh, he's going to be transported in. I'm actually going to just go ahead and take him myself since we are this close. We're just right down the road here, so we'll just go ahead and roll on up. Take him in. I don't know what he was thinking. He's lucky he didn't die today. Go ahead and we'll pull up in here. We'll uh, take Mr. Dalton in. We're going to let, uh, let another officer come out and get him. All right, so Mr. Dalton is uh, in custody. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll go back 10-8. And I'll see you guys when we get our next call. Hey, watch it, boy, yeah. All right, we've got somebody trying to flag us down over here with a um, broken down vehicle. I'm going to go ahead and whip around here and we'll see if we can help this citizen out. One Lincoln Ford Dispatch, I'm going to be out with a 401 Ida George Tom 022 disabled vehicle. Two, two, proceed with 
looking for. I'll be out with this vehicle at Dulos Avenue, northbound. How you doing, sir? Hey, look, um, your registration is expired. You're going to need to have that looked at, bud. Take a look at your vehicle for you real quick. One thing you're missing your hood here, buddy, but uh, looks like you'll be able to drive it again. Go ahead and be careful. Visit a garage as soon as you can. Make sure you get that uh, your registration renewed and get your uh, insurance in place. Your insurance is lapsed as well. Cut your brake. Uh oh. What do we have here? Go ahead and pull up and talk to this guy. How you doing, sir? Hey, stop for a second. Let me talk to you. You have an uh, ID on you? Carrying a knife in Palato Bay. Hi, dude. Get on to the house now. We got to go ahead and hop back uh, in our vehicle and take this call. Be responding code three to this person with a knife. We have a criminal resisting arrest in Palatine. Drop that knife. I'm from the Midwest. Drop it. Drop it. One Lincoln four shots fired. All units, shots fired at an officer in Palato Bay. Units respond code three. Dispatch, Ocean One here. We can take that if no one else wants it. We've got other units showing up on scene now. We have a seat for me. One Lincoln Four requesting EMS. We've got assistance needed in Palato Bay. I don't know if this person's going to make it or not. Go ahead and search her. Oh, we found a bottle of chloroform. That's interesting. One Lincoln Ford Dispatch, 1027 and 29, check on Katie Rhodes. She's valid, has no warrants, right? We did witness the stabbing, though, when we pulled up. Only in Los Santos. All right, go ahead and stand up for me, man. Come on. Get in the back of my vehicle. So, um, firemen weren't able to revive this lady, this victim here. Sounds like we still have an ambulance en route, though. We'll wait and see if, uh, see if they're able to revive her or not. Okay. They went on and got out. Oh, they didn't call it at all. Apparently, this subject's going to be DOA. We're going to have to go ahead and uh, call the coroner in. Dispatch, I need a coroner to my location. One Lincoln Four requesting prisoner transport. We have assistance needed in uh, 
Gardner is on scene. They've uh, taken pictures. They'll go ahead and uh, bag that body up. Looks like transport is here for Katie. I think they may be having difficulties getting to her, though. She's just going to hop on out and walk over there. That'll work. Actually, I think she's just going to insta-pop over there into their vehicle. Yep, there it is. All right. So that's that. We'll be, uh, we'll be code four. All right. We uh, just got a report of an indecent exposure out here on the highway. I'm going to go ahead and respond code two high to this one. We definitely don't want people in the middle of the highway. Sure enough, if they're exposing themselves to people, they could cause an accident. Let's see what we got here. Oh, he just got hit by a car. You gonna make it? Yep, I think so. If I can get traffic stopped there. Get out and have a talk with this guy. Sir, how you doing? Come in, let me talk to you. Hey, come here. You got ID on you? Bob Saget. Yes, indeed. Bob Saget is walking around the highway outside Polito Bay in his underwear. And uh, so he doesn't have any warrants. His license is expired, but he's not driving, of course. Wow. Interesting. All right, man. Thought you. <laughs> Have you been drinking tonight? Or today, rather? No alcohol in his blood. What about narcotics? You under the influence of any narcotics? He's negative for both of those. Alright. Well, look. You're walking around out here half-dressed. I'm just going to detain you. I'm going to take you down here to the uh, station. Get somebody to come pick you up, alright? I'm going to hop in. Get in. I know you heard me. I don't know why he's not getting in. There we go. Alright, I don't know why this lady's standing in the middle of the road. I think she just came to see what was happening. You need to get out of the highway, ma'am. Alright, so let's load on up. We're going to take uh, Bob Saget here back to the station. So he can call somebody to come and pick him up. Maybe they can bring him some pants while they're at it. So this will probably be a good, uh, good spot to end the episode. I want to thank you so much for riding along with me today. Be sure and hit that like button down there if you enjoyed it. If you haven't done it so far, go ahead and subscribe for me. It really does help me out. Be sure and leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite part of this episode was. Maybe what types of uh, episodes you'd like to see in the future. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day.